Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're back working in the shop on the late model yet again, and I think it's time to throw sparks. If you're new to the channel or a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe if you have not already. It would help me so much because the subscriber number, if I could spit that out, is how Google sends ad revenue based off of view counts and all this other nonsense and algorithm and math and all this other stuff. So maybe someday I'll be able to buy one of these tires. Not really anything else, but yeah, we'll try. We'll try. But anyway, I think it's come to the time where I, where I need to start pulling this apart because there's a lot of stuff that I really don't like about the design of this chassis. And let me show you exactly what my concerns are first. For starters, the window net is garbage. There's a bunch of stuff that's not ground off here. This tab is really bubblegum booger. Not even welded on the back side. Yeah, that I could probably hit that with a hammer and knock that off. This post here is, yeah, I'm sure that's really helpful uh, safety-wise, but when it comes to getting in the car, I can't. So that's got to go. Uh, I was thinking of probably putting something in here or here or both just to try to tie in that head area. I do need to put a new window net mount in. I have to start playing with the seat brackets and, well, I haven't even gotten those seat belts out yet, but they have to go. So there's a lot of metal that I need to clean up, add, modify in this general vicinity, but I have to take the tin work off first, which requires some small and larger rivets. So that is job one. progress here. I got the old window net thing chipped off here. Got this bar gone. Everything is cleaned up. Old window net kind of mounts that were booger welded on. This one I actually hammered off. It just came off and then I just kind of got rid of it. This big old booger here I got eh, maybe a couple little pieces to just clean up but that's gone. I'm mocking up the new mount this is basically a seat rest for you when you get in the car it's so you don't like collapse all the tin work or the door or anything so i got that all mocked up welded in and i'm also mocking up a new window net mount which i got some tabs for it probably gonna go right in there like that somewheres of course those tabs have got to move but once I get that bottom part in, I can put the window net up and mock where it's gonna go on these two bars. Cause this bar here, that was here, number one, I couldn't get in the car because, you know, I'm a rather large person. But number two, it's just in the way of everything. Me, the window net, the body, I just didn't like it. A lot of cars don't have it. I'll probably work on something that will bolster this corner here. I'll probably take one inch tubing and just kind of brace the corners. I might even go as far as to when I finally get the seat mounted, putting another bar in from there to here, just to, because this side is, you know, you, you want to have your head be as safe as possible you don't want the cage to collapse on you especially in one of these cars with the opportunity of racing at bigger tracks you don't want to have anything happen to you so i'm thinking that's probably going to happen as soon as possible but for now this is what we're on we're working on window net 
getting that and this all mocked up after that i'm probably going to take the vacuum out clean all the metal shards out of the car blow everything off and then we're going to work on mounting the seat so this is the type of stuff that takes forever because you have to plan it out ahead of time and try to fit everything and you got about eight different things to fit at once and it's really difficult but this looks pretty decent I got it nice and smooth in case I rub on it when I run into the car or, you know, whatever. I think I might have to trim maybe just a little bit. I don't know. I got to see where the tin work sits just so I don't, like, indent it or something. But this came out pretty well. I got one of them sprung rod types where you got a little handle here. You can just kind of, bam, just done. And I welded it straight to the outside. And you can kind of go hold it in. I still gotta, I might have to just kind of grind the tip of that off, but there you go. Now that's in, not going anywhere. I'm going to try to maybe get some paint on this thing when I get finished, but the bottom, I wish this lower little aluminum strap, I wish they'd put a bigger one in because it's kind of wimpy. I'll be honest with you. I think I'm going to like cut a small hole and put like a stainless steel hose clamp in here just to retain it to make sure it doesn't go anywhere maybe put another stanchion in or something i'm not really sure at this point but i just used what i was given in the kit but you could see with this post here you know this you can't get a good window net in the car so that's nice and tight that's good I'm going to get the air blower out, blow all this stuff off because there's just shards of crap everywhere. Then I think I'm just going to start, after cleaning up, I think it's time to put the seat in. By the way, when you got a strap like this and you got some kind of like little, you know, tab to put it through, just drill a small hole and put a cotter pin and just kind of bend the edges around. And that'll stop it at least from sliding around and uh, falling off and stuff, so... It's just an easy way to do that. I feel like the time has come to start mounting the seat as well. Of the major things that we needed to do, one, make sure that the, I actually fit through the window, two, that we get a window net in here, and then three, the seat needs to be mounted. Obviously, I wanna do a little bit more to protect my head and have this safe over here, maybe put a bar in like I said earlier, but for now, I need to be able to work on it. I gotta have the tin work out. I do wanna paint it, but I don't want to paint it while there's still fabrication that needs to be done. So I'm trying to figure out how to mount this seat. There's two brackets down here that are existing that go to the bottom of the seat. They look like they probably will work. So I think I'm going to leave those, but I got to come up with some way of mounting this seat in the back. Now I want it to sit up. You see how it rocks just a little bit. I want it to just be there forward as far as we can. So we're going to rock that forward. But my idea is, well, down here in the back, you can't really see it, so let me move it forward. You see there's two little holes and a witness mark of something being there, like a mount. Well, if you go to the back side here, there's little tabs where you could mount the seat. Unfortunately, that doesn't work on this type of seat because the seat is much newer of a design than the car was. So my idea now is I'm going to take like a hole saw like this, or uh, I don't remember which one it is, but it's around and uh, I will eventually find it. Ah, here it is. I will take a hole saw with a short end. I will mark on this main bar that runs back behind my seat. It's hidden under the tin work. I'm gonna mark where I wanna put a hole. I'm gonna drill a hole with that. Then I'm gonna use the saw part of it to cut the tin work away from the area that I'm gonna be working on. I'm gonna use the hole that I drilled from this to mark a location as to where I'm going to take a half inch nut, drill a bigger hole with like a step bit, take a magnet, sink this into the pipe, kind of like that, you know what I mean? Into the pipe, weld it in to the pipe. That way I can take a piece of angle iron, measure that out to the back of that seat, Maybe on a slider, maybe not, probably not on a slider. We'll figure it out, but 
It's probably not exactly a 90 degree angle, so I'm probably gonna have to bend the piece of angle iron, but basically bolt a piece of angle iron to this pipe with a heavy grade bolt with the nut welded into the pipe, go straight to the back of the seat, you know, fix the angle on it, drill two holes, one through the seat, one through the angle iron, and bang, you got a piece of something there at least to mount your seat to. So hopefully I can come up with something there. Hopefully I can drill the holes to the bottom where it actually will meet the existing holes and hopefully it works out. Well, I mean, it worked. My only issue is the hole that I can now cut in this tin work is uh, a little bit bigger than I was hoping, but you know, I have to account for the fact that I have to get a welding tip in here and this hole is going to be a lot bigger. So um, I'm actually not too sad about that. So, all right, I think that'll work out. See guys, contrary to, well, what you've seen, I actually can weld sometimes and that came out really well. I mean, do I trust my life to it? Yes, obviously, of course I do. I gotta tell you, I didn't expect to get this much done today, but <laughs> sometimes you just get into a, a good rhythm and you just start making things happen. But uh, I think right now I'm gonna start trying to find some kind of, I don't know, angle iron material, <laughs> something heavy. I got heavy stuff hanging around, maybe even a little bit big too. It's gotta be big and heavy. So I'll cut, you know, a couple inch pieces and um, just at least put them on here to fit. And if they fit, then we'll go from there. But we will drill half inch holes in them if I can get that to work. Who knows? And then um, just see where we go. I mean, obviously this is all trial and error and what fits and what doesn't. But we got to get something for it, cut it to fit just keep going and then after that hopefully i'll have everything in line that i can actually throw a little coat of paint on this thing so it doesn't look like it's uh my sportsman now i feel bad that car will be back it'll get some love trust me but we're working on this for now and uh, hopefully we can get what we need done today that'd be great guys even more progress Look at this, I reused some old brackets. I maybe had to make a little bit of one. I welded it both sides, don't worry. And then I got another one over here. They are sliders, by the way, so if I need to adjust a little bit, um, it can't do much, but. I also got some bolts in the bottom part of the seat. I bent the bracket. I think there's only one last thing that I really have to do, and it's find a way to attach the fifth sub harness because, well, yeah, I know it's gonna ruin your very private areas if you get into a big wreck, but I got to figure out how to get that bolted in. Um, there's really no provisions up front because the seat hangs way over and the belt would be rubbing. So I'm thinking I might just drill into here on the back side and weld a shoulder nut to that and uh, figure out exactly how to mount that because then I just bolt it straight up and it would come up through the seat. I don't know if there's a lot of padding here. I wouldn't catch my leg on. Uh, there might be a little bit. Oh, there goes that. And I got some nuts and bolts over here that I could always use to kind of cut something and splice it in. But uh, let me show you the finished product. Well, I say finished, but I want to put the window net in as well. And I want to put everything up the way that I had it kind of designed out. And then I'll show you. Look at that, huh? I know I start my shots from over here every time, but that's because I have to grab tools. Anyway, I'm just missing my cotter pins and uh, you just gotta bend it a little bit more, but look at that. You know, we got us a seat. I can move that tab in so that I can reach it. It slides very easily, so that that's not really a safety issue. The window net will act as perform, or perform as designed, I guess I should say. <laughs> anyway. Everything here is ready to go. Seats bolted in. Harnesses are gonna come after that. We're gonna throw a coat of paint on her. We're gonna have this ready to go. ASAP, everything's welded in. Everything's good to go. 
I just got to make sure I put a little piece of tape. But let's be honest, I'm not going to be sitting on the door back here because the seat's in the way. I'm going to be sitting on the door where I have to get in, so I don't think I should have really worried too much about extending this to all the way to the back here. That's fine, but otherwise, I think I'm going to take everything back out, throw a coat of paint on everything so that the seat's not going to get all screwed up, let it dry, and then I'm going to come back out and work some more. But I think that's going to be it for this video because I'm trying my best to put more videos out and have them be a little bit shorter for you guys because, I mean, I could put a lot more stuff out, maybe even on a weekly basis, if I didn't concentrate on trying to make them a little bit longer or whatever. If it's a 15-minute video, who cares? I mean, it's going to keep you up to date. You're going to see some interesting work being done. And I think that this is pretty much exactly what, you know, the doctor ordered here because... We got stuff done and it was really important stuff too. So either way, thank you all again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. Please subscribe if you have not already. Tell your friends, if you think that they would like short track racing, cars, mechanics, fabrication, even though I'm not that great at it, paint, body, whatever the hell the case may be, just send them my way. Again, it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe, and it helps me so much because bottom line is you have to have a subscriber base in order to get ad revenue from Google, and that's all I'm really asking for. I'm not asking for your time, or, well, anything more than your time. I'm not asking for your money. I'm not asking for donations. Sponsorship would be nice from companies and stuff like that, but, you know, I'm just out here trying to show you that you can do it yourself, and that it's really not that hard as long as you're willing to learn. And trust me, I'm still learning as we go too. And I've been in this game for well over 20 years. So again, thank you all so much. I greatly appreciate it. And until next time.